How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome back to another testing video. Uh, this video we're going to be testing out the Shadow Glaives. Uh, so the Shadow Glaives are weapons, uh, this is what they look like here, they're basically like throwing stars, uh, they look kind of like the Crystal Chakram. Uh, the Shadow Glaives are dropped by Greg, uh, the God Wars Dungeon 2 boss, uh, and how they work is they're very similar to the Blades of a Virus and Nymora, uh, but for range. So they've got tier 80 damage with tier 90 accuracy. Uh, so yeah, that's what they look like. They do look kind of cool, I would say, uh, personally. They're pretty cool. You get to be a badass with the throwing stars and everything. Uh, but yeah, that's what they look like. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go do a little bit of a gear comparison. Now, the Shadow Glaive, like I said before, has tier 80 damage with tier 90 accuracy. Uh, so as you can see, when you look at the Royal Crossbow, it has the exact same damage. That's why it's glowing green. Uh, as the tier 80 Royal Crossbow. All, obviously, the number is different because it's scaled for attack speed. Uh, now, the reason I've got my Dragor here, an offhand Dragor Longsword, is take a look at this. Um, 2458 accuracy, 2458 accuracy. So it's got the same accuracy as a tier 90. Uh, the only difference is you're losing a bit of damage uh, because it's got tier 80 damage, not tier 90 damage. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to head over, as always, to the training dummies. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to think about when you're looking at the Shadow Glaives is you do not need any ammunition for these weapons, which is quite nice, I would say. Uh, just one last thing you don't have to grab, don't have to buy, don't have to pay for. Uh, so that's nice, because they are a thrown weapon. Uh, now, where would they be useful? Okay, so basically, where these things are useful, uh, anywhere you've got a 100% hit chance, you may as well use the Royal Crossbow. The damage per second is going to be exactly the same. Uh, these are really made as a budget ascension crossbow for people who are trying to get into player versus monster. Uh, so the place that I would actually recommend using them, uh, they'd be really good at Queen Black Dragon, they'd be really, really good at Grigorovic in God Wars Dungeon 2, they'd be good at Arma Boss. Uh, basically, anywhere where you don't have a 100% hit chance, uh, these things are going to be really, really nice to use, assuming you cannot afford ascension crossbows. Uh, these things are a lot cheaper than ascensions though. Uh, ascensions currently are going for around 63 mil each and these glaives are only 12 mil per so quite a bit cheaper than the ascensions uh, in the long run. Uh, so anyway the first place we're gonna go is we're gonna go to the Queen Black Dragon because that's one of the places that these glaives are gonna be really really worth using. Uh, now, in terms of a Slayer weapon, uh, they're not going to be that good, uh, actually, for Slayer, interestingly enough. Uh, they're going to be almost exactly the same as a Royal Crossbow. The reason I say that is because when you're killing Slayer creatures, you usually have an 100% hit chance. Uh, so, considering a 100% hit chance, you're going to be just as well off with the Royal Crossbow because the damage is exactly the same. Uh, now, before I head to the Queen Black Dragon, one thing that is really important to say that I definitely have to mention uh, before we go any further in this video, uh, in RuneScape, currently 100% of your accuracy bonus comes from your main hand weapon when you're dual wielding. Uh, now, what does that mean uh, in terms of like how does that affect you in any way? Uh, what that means is pretty much because the offhand weapon, you'd use it because of the accuracy bonus, uh, there's actually no point using it. If you've got a chaotic crossbow offhand, it's going to be exactly the same. Uh, and that being said, if you have something like offhand death lotus darts or an offhand ascension crossbow, uh, you're still going to get the tier 90 accuracy. So even though these things say they have less accuracy, uh, if I use them, I'm going to have the exact same hit chance if I'm using the offhand death lotus darts. Uh, all that's going to happen is I'm going to have even more damage. Uh, so I just wanted to quickly make a note of that and mention that. If that doesn't make any sense, I'm not explaining that well. I'll try again better in the comments. Just leave a comment saying, Ryan, I don't understand the thing about the place and I will try and do a better job. Uh, but basically, all of your accuracy comes from your main hand. So having an offhand that has less damage in favor of accuracy actually doesn't do anything for you. So you may as well use a Chaotic Crossbow uh, and a Death Lotus Dart offhand would actually give you even better damage uh, than the two Glaives. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be it. Uh, I'm wasting all my Death Lotus Darts, so I'm going to stop doing that. Uh, and yeah, let's go to the Queen Black Dragon. Okay guys, so quick disclaimer. I don't really kill QBD with range much, so my DPS isn't going to be perfect, my rotation isn't going to be perfect, I might not be using my ultimates at the right time, uh, but this should give you a good indication of what the hit chance is like. It should be pretty much close to 100%, uh, but yeah, it should give you a sense for the damage and the hit chance and all that stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some music, uh, we're going to chill out, we're going to sim through this kill, uh, and then when the kill is done, uh, I'll let you know what I thought about it. Alright guys, there's your QBD kill. The last 
two phases were absolutely ridiculous. I threw up a Death Swift and I got them both down within the time of the Death Swift. Uh, so that definitely passes the DPS test in my books. Uh, so yeah, let's go check on the loot. Uh, but overall, I think that was very successful. I don't think I missed a single hit in the whole kill. Uh, so yeah, let's check on the loot. And we got a 2,000 key. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head to the Greg boss in God Wars Dungeon 2. Alright guys, we're at Greg right now, and what I've noticed so far is the accuracy is absolutely unparalleled. It's really, really nice. Uh, I totally recommend it uh, at this boss, uh, the Shadow Glaives, just because sometimes you have trouble hitting the child. I've killed this thing 157 times with the Royal Crossbow, and sometimes the Rise Child doesn't die. And if the Rise Child doesn't die, that's not a situation you want to get yourself into. Uh, because then, uh, what'll happen is he'll hit Greg, and then Greg will get a buff for the rest of the kill. Uh, so for that alone, it just makes it way more convenient and you know, you can DPS way better just because nothing unexpected is happening. You know that everything you're going to do is going to hit. I'm basically not missing at all right now. Uh, so yeah, I would totally 100% recommend these here. Uh, they're definitely better than a tier 80 variant. Uh, so yeah, that's my take so far at Greg. Uh, we are going to finish off the kill, see what the loot's going to be, uh, but I would definitely recommend them over something like a Royal Crossbow. Uh, 100% better. And now one thing I am going to mention just as the minions are about to come, uh, if you're looking for a guide to this boss, I have one, you can click on the screen right now, if you're on a mobile device, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, but it basically talks about all the best mechanics for this boss, uh, to make sure that you have the longest trips. Uh, it came out a couple weeks ago, and so far it's had really, really good reviews, a lot of people told me like, wow, my kill, my trips went from one kill per trip, and now I'm getting five, and shit like that, that I really like to see. Uh, so yeah, if you do want to check out that guide, uh, it's, it's going to be in the description below, uh, and on screen right now. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's going fine, it's going pretty well, we're not having to eat too much, and yeah, we're basically just chilling and we're taking out Greg. Uh, so that's exactly what we wanted it to be like, uh, and I really have no, no complaints to make. It's just, it's gone really well so far. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's Greg in a nutshell. Uh, what we're gonna do is do a tiny bit more deeps, uh, and then we'll end up having the kill. So, just like that, uh, sorry, I gotta dodge the roof falling on my head, and yeah, basically the kill's done. Uh, so we managed to kill Greg. No problem, it was very easy, I totally recommend the Shadow Glaives for that. Alright guys, so for the Shadow Glaives, both at the Queen Black Dragon and at Greg, totally passes the PVM test, definitely better than something like a Royal Crossbow, uh, so I would definitely recommend it as a, a good intermediary step uh, between a uh, Royal Crossbow and the Ascensions. Uh, definitely get it if you're planning on camping Greg for any amount of time. Uh, the 100% hit chance was just absolutely phenomenal, and really really nice to have. Uh, so yeah, if you can't get yourself Ascensions, so far I would say these things are really really good. Now, there's still one question left to answer. Will these things work in a PvP battle? Uh, so let's head to the wilderness and try not to die. All right, good luck, my man, here we go. Uh, jumping into the fight. Uh, yeah, let's see how this thing works. I don't know how it's gonna be. I really don't know what to set my expectations at, uh, but I think it's gonna be pretty good, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, they're hitting very accurately, they're hitting well, uh, which is kinda all you can hope for uh, in this scenario. Uh, I want him to break my vengeance, and we're gonna spec here. See what happens? Okay, no, no KO there. Uh, but not a bad hit, though, so, you know, it's okay. Uh, obviously, my, my setup is, is pretty strong, I would say. It shouldn't be too defensive. Oh, that's a special time. Ooh, could have died there. Glad I didn't. Uh, trying to get my pet out of the way. You know, we're gonna we're gonna lose the pet for the next fight. It's just a little bit uh, of a hassle, I would I'd say. That's kind of the category I put it in. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep eating the food. Uh, we can also just go for some Dark Bow Wax in here, and it might not go too, uh, too badly for us. Uh, so you know, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a little Dark Bow, a little Dark Bow Whack right here. Uh, Dark Bow Go! Okay, that was like the biggest delay of all time. Uh, but there's a 341. So you know what we're gonna do? Before this guy teleports because he's out of food, because I'm assuming he's almost out. Oh wow, he's comboing me really hard right now. Eat the food, eat the food, just do a little tanking for a second. I'm gonna venge up, do that, and you're dead! Look at that! I actually got a KO with the Shadow Glaive. Uh, so that's nice. So I didn't even, uh, didn't even anything. Didn't even need the Dark Bow there. So, all right, good luck to this guy. Uh, we're going on with the fight. I just kind of want to see what these things can hit, how accurate it is. Uh, so far, we've missed one hit so far, but that's not too bad at all. Uh, missed twice. Am I potted and everything? Oh, I'm not potted. That's probably why. Uh, we're going to repot up. That might make the difference. Good job, Ryan. Best PK of all time. Remember to pot uh, once in a while. You know, once every like 20, 30 fights, it's a good thing to do. That was like the opposite of a one tick with the Royal Crossbow. But as you can see, the Royal Crossbow just misses a lot. You know, it just doesn't really have that accuracy. Uh, that you'd like. Uh, there we go. That's that's a special time. Oh, I don't have spec though. So it's not a special time. It's just a random hit. Look at that. 400 hit with the Dark Bow. That's not too bad. Uh, maybe I should have timed my Venge there. Uh, but yeah, just want to see how these things combo. If they if they do any work. Ooh, that's very close. Oh man, he's getting very close to killing me. Just not quite hitting high enough. Um, so yeah, we're good. We're going to put that back on. Wow, your hits are ridiculous. We killed him. Look at that. Look at that stack. 
look at that stack, so that's what I'm saying with the Shadow Glaives. So for some reason, even though they're a fast attack rated weapon, they actually vary up the hit speed for some reason. So those two, they both hit at the exact same time, and I comboed like almost 500 damage. Uh, so that was phenomenal. That was way better than I was expecting. Alright guys, I've got a fight with 1v1 CS Gomi, and just a massive thanks to him. Uh, we've hopped to another world, I was getting permed in the other world, and it was just impossible for me to do anything. Uh, so I really do appreciate uh, him taking the time uh, and helping me make this video uh, for you guys. Uh, I just really misclicked badly there, that was good. Uh, I gotta drop a shark, that's why. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, these things are actually hitting really, really hard. They're kind of tearing. Uh, way better than I thought they would do, uh, that's for sure. Uh, Debo, go, venge! Wow, that was a big hit. Uh, that almost just finished the job right there. That's insane. Them hits, though. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go with the Royal Crossbow. A couple little whacks with that. I wanna see... Ooh, that could've been the end of my life. Oh, that could've been the end of my life. That was almost the end of my life. But it wasn't the end of my life. Oh, man, that could be the end of my life as well. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Wow, this guy's got good hits. He doesn't even have turmoil. He's wrecking me right now. Uh, what I do wanna do, though, is I wanna try the one tick with the Royal Crossbow. That was not a one tick at all. Oh, we got him! With the Royal Crossbow! Wasn't really a one tick, but we did manage to get ourselves the kill. Uh, so good fight to you, man, and thank you for your loot. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I'm gonna stay, even though I'm out of food. Risk it for the biscuit. Um, oh shit, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, 33 hit points. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, let's get out of here uh, real quick. Uh, that was almost the end of my life. We're gonna glory ourselves away, and good fight to you, man. I deboed and he had no armor on, and it still failed. Oh, he's trying to get a Voln on. Oh, that's why. And I'm wearing range gear. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Royal Crossbow, you're smited. Go, 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 for the Nox! For the Nox! I think I may have just PK'd a Nox. Uh, no, he did get the prayer back on. That would have been pretty scary uh, for him, probably. Uh, so we almost PK'd ourselves a Nox. Uh, that's really funny. Um, wow. Uh, go, Royal Crossbow! Uh, it does not really one-tick, though. That's the only, like, downside to this setup. Uh, the Royal Crossbow does not one-tick very well uh, out of the Glaives. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm doing it wrong. It's just how they hit. Uh, 267. Just keep the combo coming. Keep the combo coming. That's another big combo. Like, it's 400s and 500s. There we go. Venge up! Hit the Venge and you're dead. A little Venge combo wombo on you right there. <laughs> Good fight, man. Alright guys, I have a fight with this person, and I think he has a scythe, so I'm not super stoked for that. Uh, but yeah, good luck to you, man. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is for sure gonna be the last fight of the video. Uh, so, good luck, man. Here we go. Throw up the little double vend right at the start. I gotta be really careful of my HP, because this guy is comboing me hard. He's got turmoil and overloads and stuff. And yeah, he's comboing. He's combo one with me right now. Oh, that could be the end of my life, but not quite. Maybe I should have spec there. Would have been maybe a really, really good time to spec. Uh, I was just worried about preserving my own life a little bit. Whew, managed to tank that pretty well. That's lucky. Um, okay, continue. Onwards and upwards. Uh, only uphill from here. Uh, yeah, rip your spec. He still has a Nox, though, so I'm not really sure why you're saying rip. I think the Scythe can hit as hard as an AGS can anyway, so... He's just- the only reason he's not pulling it right now is because he thinks I'm gonna venge it. Oh, I misclicked that pretty hard. Job, Brian. You are a professional of all professionals. Here we go. Oh, I misclicked that as well. I am so good at misclicking. I should just... Professional misclicker right here. Oh, don't scythe me, don't scythe me, don't scythe me, bro, don't scythe me, bro. 543, that's not nice. That's just not a nice hit to take. Um, here we go. Try and get another combo in. Try and get a venge up. Uh, and that is gonna be my only hope. My only hope of getting the kill. Here we go, he's venged. Here we go, special time. Risk it. Good fight! Oh my goodness! That spec though! Uh, in for the 2.3 mil PK. Look at that, that was a really close call. Uh, but good fight to you, man. That was ridiculous. All right, guys, that's gonna just about do it for this testing video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. The final verdict is, does it work for PVM? Yes, if you can't afford Ascensions. Is it good for a Slayer? No, just use a tier 80. And does it work in the wilderness? I'm very surprised I'm saying this, but yeah, it actually, it worked really well in the wilderness, way better than I thought it would. Uh, so anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, please smack that thumbs up button, subscribe if you want more. Uh, let me know what I should test out next. Have a great one, and peace out everyone.